TimeRust.com proudly presents the Time Rust Brain Trust. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us here on the Time Rust Brain Trust Podcast. Everybody's munching on some weekend. Or Chex Mix. Anna, Steve, what's in your mouth? Chex Mix, and it's painful. That was fun. Okay, let's get some introductions over with... To my left is Eli. Hey, what's up? Eli's busy playing it on his handheld device. It's not a gaming system, but it's phone. And to his left is... Can, I'm sorry, can we do this intro over again? No. No, we're in. No, we're, we're going to keep How's going. How's it going, guys? <laughs> this is not... Steve's like, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to keep talking and things this are going to keep going. This is a really lame What's intro. What's up? Um, Steve is Old Spice Guy. This might actually be our worst intro. Do you like intro. Old Spice? No, it's not. It no. actually might be. No, it's not. No, we've had worse. Yes. No, uh, to his left is... You have... You, podcast Zero. What it is, folks? It was better than this. Mar- Marquise agrees, because he was there. Podcast Zero was better than this. No. Steve hasn't heard Podcast Zero yet. We've got to let him listen to Podcast Zero. No, we don't have to. Um, and I because am you want me to keep coming back. <laughs> it's like uh, when... If you can hear this week's podcast, you can handle just about anything. Anyway, so yep. that was weird. I don't know why you had to say that. We were, you just you, and, you know what? Place. You know, Eli, when you walked in, you were so happy, but you got hateful real fast. I the, think the, this intro just completely soured me. I think it's because I hated on his happy music earlier. He's like, I want to play my happy music. La, la, la. No, it was really just the intro. La, la, la. Well, it was because I was hating on your happy music that I made that intro. Anyway, so cause and effect, sucker. So, anyways, but you, Eli, you were the. Cause what are you doing? You were the cause and the effect. Which means I'm everything. Okay. I am <laughs> the alpha and the omega. <laughs> Infinity gauntlet, sucker. Uh, the thing that I have been doing. Passing the Deus Ex Machina. Yes. What are you doing? Eli? Is uh, I played some games this week. No. <gasps> yeah. I did. I know it's weird. Are they real games or like ones you made up in your head? No, they're real games. Are they, are they video games? Uh, yeah, of the video variety. Video. Are they um, the ones from that song? Video games. I've never heard that song. Don't, um, don't, don't, don't. But no, they are they are games of the Nintendo variety. Well, then we don't need to worry about. Um, it. Monday, I got the chance to go over to a friend's house <clears> and <throat> play a ton. of... Of Mario Kart, Mario Party 9, and also Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, I don't like Smash Brothers Brawl. I don't care for it either. I don't like the Brawl Ball because it's the... I don't like that either. The special abilities are very unbalanced. They're super unbalanced and like it makes the game... Not good. When that thing shows up, it just makes the game suck because everybody just tries to hit that thing. So that they can get it over with? Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I was like, man, I can't wait to uh, to fight my friend while he's playing the Star Fox. And all of a sudden, <laughs> he turns into a Landmaster tank, and my you're dead. Over. Yeah, uh, it's a because cool thing. Kirby summons a mix. It's a pot. cool thing to do when you're messing around, but like, you know, like like some of the other stuff they've added, it it took away from the actual Smash Brothers melee part I think of the it. Original be- um, the original Smash Brothers for 64 is still the best one. No, easily. No. Not at all. <laughs> cube. You with me and Cube? Yeah, it's that Melee. Got slow. It got Me- slow. No, Melee is crazy fast. Like Melee. Melee is crazy fast. Is you are... Slower. Brawl is slow. Brawl is so slow. It's weird. I regret not buying The Nintendo 64 it one was slow, and then Melee mm. was fast, uh, and then Brawl is fast. way slow. No, it wasn't that fast. You're, you're, you're not playing Star Fox. You then. need to go back and, <laughs> and play and, a better and, game. And yeah. check, check that out no, again. No. But Melee... We, it was probably the best. We played every track on Mario Kart for the Wii, 
And that was a blast. There were 32 tracks, so that took us like two and a half hours. And then we went into Mario Party 9, which is not a good Mario Party, in my opinion. Um, is there ever a good Mario Party? Yeah, oh yeah. There's so many good Mario Parties. Mm-hmm. Um, but Mario Party 9 is is, is kind of lame because of the way that it's structured. You all ride around in a cart together, uh-huh. so like you're not individually moving around a game board. So you all move towards the destination at the same time. I think over the course of one game, we played maybe six mini games, which is really low because normally in There's other a mini games, game every time you stop. yeah, there would be a mini game at the end of each round. Plus, then when people would land on a on uh, a certain space, but uh, this one, I think we played maybe six mini games by the time the end of the the, the game was reached. You don't get actual stars; you get mini stars, and they're just kind of passed out to you, even for doing nothing. So. Uh, so it's it's, it's kind of like what they do nowadays in American uh, society, and they give yeah the everybody for gets a nothing. star. Hey, um, that's dumb. You could, I uh, failed, but you tried. You know, the better idea would be if they did Wario Party. That uh, would be fun. That would be interesting. Like it, if and it would be like Wario random. style mini games, yeah, like Wario make, Wear. So the, you just get a bunch of people sitting on the fence, yeah. on their, their couch, going, "That makes absolutely yeah. no sense." That would be interesting to see. Um, be fun. It'd be a change of pace. So that was just Monday. Then Tuesday, I was I was a bit sick, so we didn't have. I don't know if you did you stream any time rest now, so we didn't have time rest Tuesday because I was sick. I was physically exhausted, and Nathan was tired. So and I had to work, so I just I just stayed at <coughs> we my house dead. and I watched a little bit of Netflix and stuff. Uh, and then I think later in the evening, I finally broke out Skylander Swap Force yeah, okay. for Xbox One, and it is amazing. Um, it is, it is everything that I had hoped that this one would be. Uh, it is way better than Giants. I, I didn't really like Giants that much. It was not as good as the first game. But, uh, Swap Force has been a lot of fun so far. You can jump, which is a huge improvement. That lets you have a lot more of the classic type platforming. Oh, good. Um, and the, the environments look way better. Uh, they're actually really nice looking. And the characters... And, like, the way everything is lit, it all looks um, similar to, like, the the CG intros and stuff that they had for the characters previously. Like, when you would put them on the portal at Toys R Us or wherever. Like, the little CG character that would play, or even the ones that they use in the commercials. So the graphics are real real slick. Yeah, the graphics are very nice on the next gen. Like, they they actually look like the toys and, you know, a lot more fidelity on the character models and, and animations. Um... The new characters that I have right now are are all very good. Their new abilities are very cool. Um, so I'm looking forward in, to, to picking up some more of the characters that I have on Layaway and, and going through the whole thing with all those. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, last night I was able to play some more Dead Rising 3. I'm kind of back into being interested in that game. Uh, I think I just needed to take some time away from it and, and breathe. Yeah, because I like I in the back of my mind, like I had all this cool Skylander stuff just sitting there, and I wanted to finish Giants real bad. So now that Giants is out of the way, I'm kind of free to go back to to Dead Rising three and Forza five. Um, I'm probably going to pick up Peggle two because I have somehow got seventeen dollars in my Microsoft account that I didn't put there. Um, I think it's from Xbox Live Rewards. That's weird, man. That's weird. Um, Peggle Two is twelve bucks, so I might, I might buy that. Don't buy Peggle Two, man. Why? Don't. Peggle. Peggle's amazing. Peggle, man. Why would you hate on Peggle? It's so good. Unicorn. What is Peggle, man? Peggle is a puzzle game where it's Unicorns. like it's like a pachinko machine. Okay. Unicorns. Uh, and it feeds on like your your love of machine. plinko. It from feeds Price on right. unicorns. That'd be the best. But game like ever. you, you launch a like ball that. and bounce it off of pegs in a strategic fashion to try and clear as many as you can. Okay. Uh, and it's a it's a score based puzzle game. And the law. But uh, it's it's a Judge Dread based game. It's super high quality. Um, and it, uh, the new one looks really good. <laughs> you look so disappointed. There's a lot of levels, so I, I think it'll be fun. I miss Judge Dredd for the in- SNES. And I'm just hankering for some kind yeah, of downloadable thing on the it's Xbox good. One, really. I mean, and this is the first downloadable, like, arcade kind of title. Well, what comes out is it, it's this month. What? Um, 
The Halo the game. The Halo, yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's true. Sp- it's 15 the, bucks. The Spartan Ops game? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll save my money for that then. Yeah, dude. I wasn't totally. even thinking about that. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, I'm getting that. Is it? It's got co op, doesn't it? They're I don't put, know. I think they're putting Maybe that it in. does. I would hope. It's the top down shooter, right? Yeah, yes. I'll probably that get that. That game looks then. good. I yes. was. I'll wait till Pickle 2 is on sale. I don't have an Xbox or a Windows phone. Well, it's coming to Xbox 360. Yeah, it's coming to both. It's just later. Then perhaps, um, perhaps it's time to to re up on my Spartans. Yeah, um, Spartans mount up. It was a cold black. Sorry. I, okay. Hey, I, but <laughs> I I still play Spartans Ops from time to time, and still hate on all the people that suck at it. So. <laughs> the uh, go to my headset and start telling people how bad they are. The last thing I did, <laughs> I I'm on the last episode of season two of Sherlock right now. Um. And this seems to be pretty crazy. Like uh, he's like dueling it out with Moriarty in like some kind of crazy like big that's scheme. The, that's the BBC show with Cumberbatch. Yeah. Oh, the good one. The good one. Yeah. Um, I love that one. I was when he when absolutely I... amazing show. It's a crazy like, good show. I don't even un- I don't even begin to understand how they write that show because well, it, it is just it is just their, crazy uh, their smart and. Uh... It is crazy to lose the keys. Actually, uh, Watson opens up the laptop and uses the keys. Mm. Yeah. Um, ah, ah, on the blog. Ah. I, I do like the dynamic of that show. Yeah. I've only seen a couple episodes of it, but um, I intend to start watching it as soon as I can. Yeah. I, I guess season three is on TV right now. Yes. No. Or it's getting ready to start. Should be. It's starting very soon if it hasn't just started. Okay. Like, just. Okay, so it may be starting, like, this weekend or something. Yeah. I'll have to look. Yeah, you said the other day, oh, I can't wait for, um, or was I just watched... I'm watching watching Sherlock. Yeah, I was like, oh, season three started, and my mouth actually started frothing. I was like, oh, I don't know, I'm on season two. (laughs) You were like, Um, when you watch the end of season two... I'm gonna. Cry. You'll know why. Yeah. I was frothing. Yeah. Well, they teased something in the beginning of that episode, but uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Like, it, like it's tough for me to watch that show because you have to set aside an hour and a half, and you have to concentrate. And on you the have show. to concentrate on it and follow it because it's must see TV. Yeah, it is. It is really like I found myself like on uh, on season two, episode two, Hounds of Baskerville. I went back and rewatched that episode, I think, twice now because I kept falling asleep. Because I always end up having time, like, right before I go to bed, and I get, like, I fall asleep. If I'm if I'm just hanging out there watching something and not, like, doing something, I'll fall asleep. And so I've, I've rewatched that, like, twice. I know that but well. well, that's fine because it's an amazing, amazing show. Um,. And that brings us up to speed to today, where I have been, uh, I've watched some more Sherlock, and I've downloaded a couple games on my phone, uh, the new Angry Birds Go, uh, is a little downhill cart racer, you upgrade your cart, and it, you know, it's fun. Uh, Pretty decent out. graphics, fun music. Mm. Uh, they updated Minecraft for, uh, the Pocket Edition, uh, they added like mine carts and rails and stuff to that now, so you can do all that. And they added some new recipes and new food items and stuff. Did you get the uh, update? It's like the medieval update for a dollar on Xbox 360. Mm-mm. I thought about it and I thought, I don't know if I'll get anything. I'm not going to play that version anymore, probably yeah, because the Xbox One update, yeah, or uh, version. The right. Xbox One version will be out soon, and the PC version is light years ahead of those still. Like. Mm-hmm. The PC version, they have added so much crazy stuff, too. Like, I, I can't even keep up with the PC version right now. They're, I'm not they're just going bizarre. That's pretty much why I'm going to jump on the Xbox like One version. Like, they have horses and saddles and, like, just oh, retarded amounts of stuff you can do with that thing now. But, yeah, I, you know, I... Because when I think of Minecraft, I think of horses. When I think of Red Dead well, Redemption, I think of horses. Yeah. I'm, but, uh... I should play that game again. That is what I, I have been it. doing. That game was... You never played Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> no, I'm just getting happy. I was about to say, I was like, you have <laughs> sorely missed out on one of the most amazing games. Yeah, I, I forget most of 2009 because of it. Um, <laughs> Alright, Steve. It was a 2009? I just thought it skipped up to 13 real quick. Aww. 
<laughs> Steve, what are you doing? Well, uh, I recently picked up my my poll list, which consists of still one one comic. Um, I was unhappy with the way DC handled the end of the uh, the most recent arc for uh, Green Lantern New Guardians. Uh, basically, what it was is they started uh, the whole thing with Relic and him tr- destroying the light. It was the lights out of uh, arc, and they spread it to Green Green Lantern and Green Lantern cores, and they ended it in Green Lantern Annual One. So something that I've been collecting and reading about for the last uh, six months almost ended in a comic that didn't even involve what I was reading. So basically. I was like, oh, so all the entities have uh, have gone into Kyle, and he's now literally one of the most powerful beings in existence, and he's going to go solve this problem. And then all of a sudden it jumps to, like, weeks later where all this stuff went down, and everyone thinks Kyle's dead, and then he's off doing something else trying to fix a problem. And I was like, so how did they get rid of Relic? Well, apparently it involved the source wall and blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I don't want to buy more stuff to read it, but that, that was really poorly handled. I thought it was sloppy. I, I, it should have been New Guardians Annual 3, but it wasn't. So that's why DC is slowly becoming something I hate, but that's okay. It, their first strike was not putting out a uh, Villains Week issue a um, month, two months back, where I didn't get a comic for a month because it was Villains Month, which was dumb. Anyway, uh, let's see, I read that. Why didn't you get a comic? Each series had a villain comic. Yeah, the G- and the Green Lantern Universe villain comic was Relic, and it was in ish- it was the only published in Green Lantern. Not Green Lantern Core or oh. Green Lantern's New Guardians of the Galaxy. So So those just didn't get anything. Those didn't get anything. Oh. Hmm. So I was with I was without yeah. comic for a month and I was very unhappy. So hmm. instead of making it like a three part thing where Or making it something that affected all three of them. Yeah. No. No. Uh, no. Uh, uh, anyway, way to be way to be uh, lazy there, Neep. DC. Yeah. Neep. Agreed. Um so I uh, aside from that, I the new one good thing came out of the uh the lights out saga being coming to a close. Uh, they've got a fresh new look on the writing team, but they have a new artist. And I forget the man's name, but his art style is fresh. The character designs are great, and I'm very excited because uh, the previous uh, artist for New Guardians was kind of meh. Like, it started out strong, and then it switched. Like, I think Kirkman was working on one of them. I don't remember. But it switched to another artist, and then he wasn't so good, and then there's another artist. It, was, it's, it switched every other arc, and it was just bad. So, um, let's see, I, I read that. I got caught up on American Horror Story Season 3, which last <clears> night was <throat> the newest episode, and it was actually pretty good. Which, which is a witch in the witch, which, which, which? Yeah, I, I'm actually liking this season the most out of the other two. Out of all three of them, I like this season the most because it has the most tangible story to follow. Because the other two seasons were kind of all over the place and really far out there and strange. And this one is, you know, it flows well. And I know it keeps jumping back in time, but each every time it jumps back in time it has a reason why it's doing it. Which is nice. And it's, it's a cool concept. Like, it doesn't overdo a lot of the stuff. But, uh, you know, it's not so bad. And then uh, I got caught up on Walking Dead. And I don't even want to begin why to no. to talk about season uh-huh. three. Mm-mm. Well, season two was awful. No, season I'm in season four. Excuse me, we're in season four. Season three was not very. I, I just basically what it was is the way season three ended. I was like meh, and then season four I was like the the mid season finale of season four should have been the season finale of season three. Hmm. But they drug it out. They they basically all the stuff went down in season three. And then they gave they dedicated like three episodes to the governor, and now he like he got abandoned and he walked around and was all given up on life. And then like he found something to fight for, and he he changed a little bit. And then an episode later, he was murdering people again. And I was like, why are they doing this? I, I don't I don't care about him. I just want this man to die. Well, yeah, but they have to stretch it out because it was they have nothing else to do. 
Well, the, and then it actually got to the part where, you know, what should have happened last season where the jail was, you know, effed up and it worked. And I was like, yay, we're where we should be technically, but... It took a really long and hard way to get there. The only char- There's only one character that, that bought it that I <clears throat> didn't want, and, and, and I, I didn't want Herschel to go. I was unhappy. Herschel. Because Herschel was cool. They should have taken Tyrese because he was a jerk. He's kind of the wussy version of Tyrese. Yeah, in the comic, he was such a... You know, he's, he's hardcore in the comic, and, you know, I liked him. And in the, a lot of characters, the minor changes they've made to the certain characters have really made me not... It's really just the Daryl show. It's because the show sucks. <sighs> and the sooner that you accept that fact, the sooner you can be a happy person again. Anyway... And it's not the best apocalypse show out there. No. It's not the best show out there. No. The best one out there. It's not the is... best Walking Dead out there. Well, we'll talk about what's best out there It's not later. even a good Walking Dead. Um, let's see. Cause, but I do laugh every time that they stab a zombie or something, and it's obviously a fake like mannequin zombie. I've heard that that stuff has gotten a lot worse. It's worse and hilarious. Like, they'll go, they're stabbing the, the you know, the... The crowbars into the zombies at the fence, and there's obviously a zombie that's uh, it's it looks so fake. It's like it like makes that like 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 that raspy hiss because apparently zombies only make one sound effect in that show, which is obnoxious. Like they should have a, a variety of sounds, and they shouldn't be they shouldn't all be like you know. It's, I was like, is there a xenomorph in the room or or did you know? It should, they should make moans and things. They just hiss like, yeah. Anyway, so but it's obviously it's obviously a prop, and it's like it makes that hissing noise, and I, <laughs> I just laugh every time it happens. I and just then, laugh every time that show comes on. Yeah, oh. yeah, pretty much. Because I'm like, <laughs> people are watching this. Then after that, The Talking Dead comes on like it's such a serious yeah. thing, and you're like, <laughs> why do I want to discuss this show? I, I don't. You like think this it. is Breaking Bad? <laughs> I'd watch a Breaking Bad, like, you know, a Talking Bad. They had Talking Bad. Yeah. I'd, I'd it was good. It. it was good. Um, Who hosted it? Part uh, of it. The Harwick host? Yeah, it was Chris uh-huh. Harwick. And then, uh, then I played... Media I whore Chris Harwick. recently yeah. got myself some Borderlands 2. And uh, that game is Welcome so fun. Welcome to last fun. year. Yeah. It was... Well... <laughs> It just went on sale for seven dollars. I know. I got the uh, I got the Gage DLC, and crap. she's so much fun. The mech- I'm I was, just giving you the obligatory I welcome understand. to last year. We uh, okay, get it. I mean, there were parts where I struggled to zero because you know there's only so much you can do with a sniper rifle. And then I started playing the mech. That's romancer. the thing. You're playing him completely wrong. He's a melee character. Ah, uh, see, I never found melee. I found melee difficult in that game because everyone's got guns. Yeah, but you go invisible and then you like slash invisible people. Invisible only lasts five, five. Yeah, but the, it lasts five you, seconds and you get one you attack. But when you spend so much more into it, you get like infinite attacks and you can just keep chain killing people over and over again. I'm only level fifteen. Yeah, well. So I'm gonna go sniper until get I get high enough level, and then I'm gonna switch back over to melee. Yeah, That's you'll have I to. Uh, That's what I did it? to level. I snipered leveling and then. But with you spend money on it. It was in the you uh, respend all your yeah. points, right? Yeah. Yeah, but with the the mech- it costs cash. with the Mecromancer... All I gotta do is I use the. I my... No. no, 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 no. <laughs> you shoot someone in the head, they explode into a big shock wave, and then I send my giant killer robot, and it's it's a lot of fun because <laughs> she makes fun of the bad guys so much. It's it's really good, <laughs> especially when she calls them noobs and stuff. But uh, and then uh, I played Torchlight Two a little bit. That game is still so much fun. Just a little bit. Yeah, just yeah, just a little bit. I'm leveling all my Warcraft characters still. I'm uh, very excited. I just got a hold of Gorhal, which is something was I haven't played. Awesome. In a while. Yeah, uh, I still don't understand why the the axe that was used by Grom Hellscream to slay the demon Manoroth and free the orc race is not a legendary item. But good thing for me, since it's epic, I can use it as a transmog piece. So, yeah, I know you don't care, Nate. It's it's cool. I'm just a lore buff. That's okay. Uh, I watched uh, a couple more episodes of Quick Draw. This show's still pretty good. Um, and I watched a couple videos on like lore, uh, Elder Scrolls lore. There's a really good series by uh, Smodcast. It's not Smodcast. It's Shoddycast. Excuse me. 
and they, they it's like 15 minute videos where they talk about different aspects of uh you know the elder scrolls universe and it's pretty good i think they're up to episode 17 or 18 so that game got a release date april Six? 4th hmm. 14 not, sure. not six. Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online, whatever. It's not Elder Scrolls Six. <sighs> You're... Anyway. It's not. It's Elder Scrolls Online. I'm not sure if I'll play it or not. I'm pretty sure I won't. Because it's won't. an MMO. I'm done with MMOs. And there's only one of those in my heart. It's the Warcraft. Yep. Can't wait until they cancel it. I'm... They won't. It'll never happen. It'll never die. <laughs> like EverQuest is still around, World of Warcraft will never go. Away. I'm excited for the uh, the next expansion of Warcraft. Actually, I am too. It looks awesome. Frigs of Frigger No, it's, it's that's not. It's is World. it is it the Fears of Frigger Sniggers? No, the Warlords not. of Draenor. Yeah. Is it Sniggers of Fnagersnees? So aside from uh, play, playing some old games and uh, watching some TV, uh, and, um, it's one of the great mysteries of the world is yeah. Nathan's hate for Warcraft. It's so unjustified. I love Warcraft. It's it's the most so unjustified much. hatred in the world. See, I, no, no. Uh, I think his Doctor not, Who but... is the most unjustified hatred of all. Uh, no, the Warcraft one is is worse than that. Really, he hates Warcraft more than Doctor Who. Yeah. Why? Warcraft is so good. It's so boring. Yeah. See, I, I I do a lot of extra reading, and I go I go after the lore, and I do a lot of events and stuff. I think it's, the lore is boring. Really? Pick, what about the lore is boring? I think fantasy is boring. <laughs> it also has sci-fi elements. I think they shouldn't mix the two. Well, then why why have you played games like, um, I don't know, Mass Borderlands? Effect? Borderlands. <laughs> I think sci-fi is fun. And I think that sometimes when you mix the elements in interesting ways, it can be interesting. Hence, interesting. But when they do it in the lackadaisical just kind of throwing it in their way which is how i feel they tend to do it then yeah it's kind blizzard of... has never just thrown anything it, it feels like that's it. not true it feels like it. that's not true a lot it of times is, though sometimes no. they just throw stuff at you and they don't it feels like it doesn't take itself seriously enough and i do agree with that like i've seen that too much for instance and for instance me. the the war of the ancients book the literature that was written that explains why the torrens have dru the druid culture uh involves uh time travel and orcs like there's there's an orc and like some a druid and they time tra they go back in time to the war of the ancients and that's how the torrents get druids and there's an orc and it's funny because the orc can speak uh like two or three different languages and in game i can't speak to the horde still which is ridiculous also i didn't like warcraft 3 what <laughs> what but that really had to do with the Warcraft Three was such a good game. That had to do with the limitations of the engine itself. I wanted a the story was great. I wanted a <laughs> the engine was great when it no, came no, no, out. No 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 no. The I Frozen wanted... Throne was better. I wanted a massive game. I it wanted... was massive. No no the lim... the all right. <laughs> the... Did you play Total Annihilation? Yes. That's not the kind of game they made. I wanted that. But with you mean you want to start characters. you want to start. But that's not the game they made. Where you could make two hundred and fifty unit armies and just roll over people. Pretty much. That's not the game they made. I wanted. Um, oh, if you it? want total annihilation, you play total annihilation. I, Every game cannot be I, all. No, things. no, no, no. Total I wanted. I wanted the Battle of Helm's Deep. That's what I wanted. But with the Warcraft lore. That's what I want. That's literally all I asked they for. They actually made something very similar to that into a battleground. It's pretty cool. The new battlegrounds are way good. I just wanted the, I wanted the, you know, an escalation. I wanted to keep going and get bigger. And they're like, see, we're gonna make something a little bit more intimate. I'm like, I okay, would like, fine. What whatever, I would like is out. another Warcraft game. I want another Warcraft game. That's what I wanted. But they keep making thereafter. Warcraft games. So they kept making World of Warcraft, and I was like, well, when are you guys gonna go back I, to your roots? I can actually and say, like, I can actually not. say that the, the 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 latest expansion of World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria, though I was skeptical at first has made me love the game again so it's it's, it's well written it's fun it's creative it's it's a little fresh though it makes me giggle knowing that the pandaren were at one time a warcraft 3 april fool's joke by samwise which makes me laugh and everyone's like what that's not true i'm like dude check it it's, they came about as an april fool's joke and that's and everyone's like what do you mean the pen the pandaren express and i was like no dude it goes deeper than that so uh, that's that's kind of what I've been doing this week. I've been I've been doing a little Christmas shopping. I've been uh, I've been sketching in my book a little more. I've got a 
a fully functioning sketch of my team from uh, RYBW. Uh, RWBY? So, RWBY, excuse me. I did uh, almost, I almost picked up that DVD, the Volume 1 DVD at Walmart. <laughs> because it's it's a good show. But then I realized, oh, it's all on the internet. I, I don't need it. <laughs> <sighs> so... Internet, how you make it hard for me to support stuff. Hey, I don't understand why Rooster, <laughs> see, Rooster Teeth, they they release all these great videos and then they're like, oh, buy these buy these these videos on DVD, and we'll still host them on on the internet. But it's just you showing your love. That's all it comes down hey, to. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, yeah. I, I want to. They have a sweet T-shirt that says "Go Dinosaur, Go Home," and it's got a T-Rex pointing at people. Yep, I'm gonna buy it because <laughs> you love them. Yeah, and it's and, pretty cool. And dinosaurs are awesome. All right, Marquise. What are you doing? Oh, um, um, half asleep. Yeah, well, dude. Sorry, I'm working trying to, for I'm, a I'm, living. I'm, I'm trying to, every I'm, trying, day. I'm trying to get a quick nap in before I go to work tonight. No, but that um, sucks. I've been reading uh some books. I've been reading some comic books. Uh, I read Avengers Annual Number One. Uh, which is like Chris. It was basically like Christmas in Avengers Tower. Christmas? Yeah, it was cute. Uh, what did Black Panther get everyone? He wasn't there. It was Cap. It was Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man. It'd be like, what does T'Challa uh, bring? T'Challa and... brings advanced technology and world peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not bringing anything right now. He's kind of forbidden to step in for the Golden City. Oh, that's but, so dumb. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Cataclysm Sp- Ultimate Spider-Man number two, which is getting really good. Um... You have seen a lot of the Ultimate Spider-Man characters, uh, the Ultimate Cloak and Dagger, um, Bombshell. They're show, you know, they're doing what they can in spite of Galactus eating New Jersey and the rest of the world slowly and steadily. Um, mm. uh, I read the Cataclysm Ultimates. Um, Nick Fury dealing with the Galactus Swarm. Um, his Ultimate Squad basically dying. Um, <laughs> wah wah. Uh, Mighty Avengers number four, which uh. Picks up after the, uh, uh, the, the Inhuman, the uh, Infinity stuff, with uh, Luke Cage assembling his new team of Avengers. Luke Cage is awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, and they, they're going to break uh, Blades. Blades on the team. Cool. He's the new Ronan, but he can't. He can't show his face in public. So he had, if something happened, he can't. He can't show his face out just yet. So he's he's the new Ronan right now. Who's Blades? Blade, you know. The wait, 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 wait. Blade, the vampire the, hunter? The vampire wait. hunter. Just Blaze? Blade. Yeah. He's he's like currently, Blade Blade. Yeah, he's currently the new Ronin. What? Yeah. Mind blown. Yeah. I, so, I thought you were talking about like uh that show um that uh Felicia Day is on. No, 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 Blade, no Blade the Vampire Hunter. Yeah, he he's on Mighty Avengers, but he's a That's he's just Ronin cool. right now. Um so it's him and uh and you know the white tiger, the new white tiger, the new power man, um, She Hulk. They're going to actually Luke Cage is in Luke Cage is in the doghouse right now because because of that uh, he got you She Hulk on the team and he used to date She Hulk. Oh, and Jessica, Jessica Jones is not thrilled about She Hulk being on the team. Uh, uh, Uncanny X Men number fifteen. I read. Uh, it was the Uncanny X Men Girls Night Out. Emma Frost and took all the girls out, and they're dealing with, and, and they start so they got to see all a lot of the humanity stuff. Uh, Secret Avengers number twelve, and I read all new X Men number eighteen and nineteen, uh, dealing with uh, the all new X Men, uh, just m- moving with moving in with Cyclops' team, and then going to their first mission outside of Wolverine School, and uh, and they find they find X twenty three. Um, uh, watch the movies and what's up I watch Raw watch a movie called Film Geek which was really dumb but really cutesy at the same time about this film nerd uh, so it's cutesy dumb yeah it's cutesy dumb and he and, and he falls in love with the chick but all he knows is like film stuff and he, yeah it's it's cutesy dumb uh, I watched a really good like any movie though called The Kitchen uh, Star Laura Prepon uh, from that '70s show. That was a, a really pretty good movie. Um, uh, I'll, dare I say Netflix Gym of the Week? Um, it it was a pretty good movie. I thought. Um, 
I, I like movies like that that, that, that are self-contained in, a, in one one scene, one one area, and the characters just, you know just got to interact with each other, and there's only one set of characters. There's not too much changing. I like that. Um, let's see. I started watching Young Justice again because that's awesome, Mitch. You, you um, can never get enough of that show. I actually found I was at local store Gabe's and I found Young Justice action figures. Yes. I almost bought one, but it it, it, it was awkward. Should have bought one. Maybe we didn't put the show back on. But oh. they, 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 <laughs> yeah, the Cartoon Network's like we just need one more we just need action one figure more, purchase. One more action figure. And we'll put figure. the show back. <laughs> one more Green Lantern action figure, and we got. To- uh, I, I, if if that was the condition, I would have bought a caseload a long time. Ago. That's more support than the last Batman show got. Oh, oh that show got canceled wah, quick. Wah. Um, but that's because uh, its art style was terrible. It was, it was and not the show's good. Premise and, was and the premise was bad. All the D-list villains. Yeah. Have you watched any Brave and the Bold? That show is great. The Brave and the Bold was great. I like, it was amazing. Right. The Brave and the Bold was an it's excellent okay. show. I enjoyed it. It was really good. One of my favorite episodes was the Birds of Prey episode. Dude, that whole song, that, that whole song, it was good. There's one thing I did not like about Brave and Bold: Batman smiled too much. It was, it was, it was a silly Batman. It was, a silly Batman. Batman. It was like mm-hmm. '60s Batman almost. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah. So I started watching Young Justice, and then I heard rumors of a Young Justice live action show. Wait, what? That might what? be developed. Yeah. What? what? There, there is rumors what? that that Warner Brothers wants to develop yeah, a live yeah. action Young Justice because they realized that the show was so good, and mm-hmm. they were like. This is literally. And, they're like, this is the most downloaded show of when it was running there. ever on iTunes. They were like, everyone loves the show. Why are we canceling? Y'all? And a live action Young Justice show potentially could work. I mean, it could be dude. That could be on CW or you know. Well, you, with the way the arrows uh, going, I wouldn't or, watch it then. Wait, so that's that not a good place to put Cartoon it. Network. Don't Cartoon put Network, it on Cartoon Network. Whatever. You mean cancellation it network? Well, I mean, it could go on one of their channels. I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be on. You know, Cartoon Network, but if it went on the CW, it would work. CW does have some good shows. No, no. Supernatural is good. Supernatural is amazing. Good. You shut your mouth. Arrow's you pretty good. You shut your mouth. I Eli. love Supernatural. Eli, shut your mouth. It's a fun show. <sighs> CW stands for crap, whatever. No. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, nah, give him that one. No. I gotta give him that one. Come on, there's a lot of crap, whatever show is. Rain. <laughs> no, Rain's uh, stupid. Beauty and the Beast. That's stupid. Uh, the Tomorrow People. That's a whole bunch of crap, whatever shows. Come on, Nate. I, you, you know what? You got the, a point. Tomorrow People is is <laughs> fairly terrible, but I still watch it just because uh, it has a slight. I, you gotta, I usually feel concept, the, the way, way that Eli is talking about CW, I usually feel that way about the Sci Fi Channel. Mm. Because yeah. the Sci Fi Channel is like hit or miss, and they're like. Hilariously bad movies like Sharknado. I can't tell you what their initials stand for. Mm. Uh, yeah. But you know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So um. So uh, I watched Akira because Akira came on. Akira, the old Akira. Akira came on uncut. Tsunami said, "You know what? For the first two hours of Tsunami, we're putting Akira on uncut." Um. It was pretty awesome. I was like, yes, Night Audit, Akira's on. I was like, See, yeah, I, I read the manga for Boom. Akira, and the show, the, the movie's no longer good for me. Oh, well, the show. Well, <laughs> still, still good. It was but still good. It was, it was good when the people I exploded. I liked Akira before Akira was cool. No, no, I mean, like, I, <laughs> I watched it, and then I read the manga, and now the, the manga's better. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, because I, I it was, explains half the story. I don't know if anybody's ever been a hipster for Akira. Well, when you're you what? might be the first. I'm not a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys are mean. <laughs> yo, I liked Akira when it was just a book, yo. No, I mean, like, I, I watched the movie first. So that doesn't really make me a hipster. Uh, um, Admitting the manga's <laughs> better is not being a hipster. <laughs> but yeah, you're I, mean, so... Eli. You're hateful this evening. <laughs> Thanks for the bad uh, intro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you just soiled, you, you soured him the whole like time. Yeah, thanks, Nate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one so, bad apple. Thank you. Um, I watch a uh, video one game high school season two. Is that a good show? High school what? The video game high school season two. What is yeah. that? Oh it's yeah, good. Just pitch that to me. It's okay. So um, it is by Rocket Jump, uh, Freddie W, and uh, Brandon uh, JLA. They uh, they do uh. Videos and stuff on YouTube, and uh-huh. they create their own TV show, uh, like, like, like a TV show almost. And it's about this kid who goes to a video game high school for playing video games, basically. 
Okay, so basically, instead and you, of like sports and stuff, they have video games. Yeah. Yep. And he and he joins. Why the, did uh, I not go to the school? And he, and, because it didn't exist. And he's uh, and he's on the uh, the JV uh, the JV uh, first person shooter first person team. shooter team. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so good. His his best friend his best friends uh, his one of his best friends plays on the uh, racing team, and and it's a really good show. It's on Netflix. Both seasons are on Netflix. We'll watch it. It's an awesome awesome show. Um, the graphics are. F- they do a good they job do a for, really, for, for, for what they're working with. For what they're working with, they do a really good job. And uh, so I say it's so- it's kind of silly, like it's real silly and lighthearted. Like it's, you know, it. If it was maybe written a little more mature, I think it could be a lot more interesting. But it's, it really is kind of silly and lighthearted. They want it to be like viewable by a wide range of yeah. people. Um. So I mean that kind of that's kind of what holds me back from like really loving it because but you know it 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 hits kind of the right notes to be enjoyable. Yeah, and, and the and, dude from Epic Meal Times the principal. So and he's hilarious. Yeah. Epic Meal Time. Yeah. yeah. And I love Brian Ferrandi. He, play, he plays the law. He's amazing. Yeah, he's pretty funny. <laughs> he's <laughs> like he's super over the top and yeah. but that's that's funny yeah. the way that they do him. So yeah, so um and then uh, and I watched Stalled. Have you guys uh, on Netflix? Um I know what that is. It's weird looking. I watched a little bit of it and I was like, "What?" Yeah, um what? So the the janitor is he's doing work in the bathroom and then uh he he gets himself he sits in the ba- I guess he sits in the bathroom and falls asleep and he wakes up and the zombie apocalypse is broken loose. <laughs> and he has to, and he, he winds up locking himself in the bathroom for a while, and he makes a friend with the girl who's stuck in the, the the stall next to him. And they're like, and, and they're trying to make plans. They escape. He goes, "She goes, you have a toolbox." He goes, "Yeah, but I left it on the counter." Oh, <laughs> so things like that. And then uh, it was a, re- it was a really, really. Uh, I thought it was so hilarious. Do they ever get out of the stalls, or like, is it just all in the stalls and dialogue? A, a lot of it's in the stalls and dialogue, but they do. I mean, they do eventually get out of the stall. They, they you know, so stuff why is happens. the janitor in a stall, and then there's a girl in the stall? Is he in the wrong bathroom? He was. He, he was, was cleaning he, the women's restroom. Okay. Yeah, and so I it was like, <laughs> it was kind of weird. It was hilarious, and and I was like, "Oh, I'm like, that's funny." And so and that's then, pretty uh, funny. and it was a British movie too. So well, you know, it's got that okay, weird British it's got humor, that real dry British humor. Yeah, and then I watched the last episode of Power Rangers Megaforce season finale. How was that? You know what? I, I can't wait for next. I can't wait for next year because Legend War. Legend War. Explain. Power Rangers everywhere. All the different seasons. <laughs> Power Rangers everywhere. All Power big, Rangers all the time. Big fight. Big fight. Power Rangers Incorporated is like literally there no. will be okay. there will literally be what 100, 150 Power Rangers something like that. Yeah, there's a lot. Something oh. ridiculous. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Why they, is why they is ended it, on the nice note? Why they, is it happening? Well, it was like what exactly was the premise of Mega Force? I didn't watch it. Well, Mega Force, um, they're just a, a new incarnation of Rangers, um, who were summoned by Gose, uh Zordon's uh, apprentice. Mm-hmm. And um, they're the protective world from uh, like pollution and stuff. And it's more oh, like, so it's like Captain it, Planet, the Power Rangers, kind of. Pass, kind of. <laughs> but um, by <laughs> our powers combined, we are Megazord. And you're but like, see, I've seen this before. Next season's gonna be cool because when they go Super Mega Force, because they'll they'll eventually be able to get the unlock other Ranger powers. Okay, so and, it's and like... get and get we're, we're, get all the Rangers, old Ranger Zords and stuff, and. Weapons and stuff. So eventually they'll be able to get like old, the old school uniforms. Yeah. And they'll be able to get like the old school Zords. Yeah. And uh, Jason David Frank is going to be in the in the uh, Mega Force, the uh, the Legend War. Really? Yeah. And um, they should make a they should make a, a a remake of the Power Rangers like fighting game. Dude, the one wow. for Super Nintendo was really good. <laughs> He's yeah. Jason David Frank is actually working with Bat and the Sun. I should bring that. Right we now. should play that. Okay. And they're making they're making something cool with the uh, Green Ranger. Where can we hook up the Super really? Nintendo? Yeah. Well, we're trying on to push a Green Ranger Sunday, movie. we're going to do a lot with, of heavy a PG-13 lifting. Green Ranger movie. PG-13 uh, Green Ranger movie with yeah, like the, the dragon flute and everything. TV yes. And. Up top. He I said, loves me some power. Super non mindo. He, he said that'll be the uh, this will be the retro area. He retro said grade. he said the uh, we that, can do the that, uh, Dreamcast. that the he felt that Jason David Frank said he felt the Green Ranger was like the Wolverine 
of the Power Rangers. He was like, you know, that kind of dude. He was. I still had on my Dreamcast though. So I can't wait. I can't wait for that to happen. To um, to buy food. Plants vs Zombies and Samurai Siege I played this week in the Injustice Mobile game, and of course I've been playing Avengers Alliance on my Facebook. Of and course, it's been awesome. Um, it's excellent. So that's about it. I've been playing a lot of uh, Tiny Death Star. I haven't been playing that as much. Game is I so haven't good. been playing it very much either. I've got 58 levels. It's it just on. so slow. I turned it on, yeah. and then my girlfriend said, "Why are you playing that? You're at my place." I said, all right. No, I didn't turn it on again. Well, anywho, <laughs> Nathan, you, what, what are you doing, you doing, doing? Nathan? Like trying to crush my soul. And yeah. All right. Let me so, enjoy my Death Star. Um, yeah, I, with that, the podcast is in it. We thank you for it. Oh. 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 Yes. Shit. Wah, wah, so I played wah, some wah, wah, uh, wah. <laughs> Dead Rising 3. I enjoyed it. I am at the... The end, and I will not spoil it, but there are some amazing, amazing things. You have to actually um, want to beat the game. You have to want to be a good guy, and you have to want to progress in the story to get the good ending. This isn't one of those where you have to kill yourself to get the good ending, you know, break your back, but... Give me Far Cry 3. No, I'm talking about like Dead Rising One, where you know you just basically murdered yourself to get the awesome ending. Remember how hard that was? <sighs> this is not that hard. It wasn't hard. It was fun. Shut your face, you worthless sack of crap. Jeez, um, <laughs> oh, dude. You know what? That game was a lot harder than I expected it to be. That's all I'm saying. That game was incredible. Yes, it was. Don't get me wrong. The first one's still the best one. I don't know. This one's so much fun. All right, we're not going to get into how amazing those games are because they're awesome. And I really like 3 because it added so much great stuff. And 1 is still amazing. And I look back and go, man, it's still so awesome. And I look at 3 They and should I'm like, remake oh, the first so one with awesome. no load times. That's mm. actually a really good idea. Anyways, um, so... Yeah, that was like the main problem I had with the first one. I was like, I don't like this game because I'm constantly spending all of it loading. <sighs> Yeah, you only load when you die in this game, or yeah. if there's a movie. They should um, make it. They should remake the first one, Seamless World, and seamless then they should remake world. the second one, Seamless World. Oh, new Seamless World! And then um, they should combine them into one game, to one super game. Well, you know, um, it is technically all these worlds are connected, although except for Dead Rising Two, off, off the, the record, because it technically didn't exist. It's a. It's a. It's a it's a it's hypothetical. A, it's like a fan fiction. Yeah. Uh, okay. um, it's an OVA. Or yeah. OVA? O-A-V? OVA. You're right. OVA. OVA. It, I always... Anyways. Well, I'm it's not to, an original video animation. Right so. now. Well, I mean, like, so the find. concept. It's the same concept as an OVA. Where it's a side story. But it's not a side story. It's... It's more like a fan fiction. Fan fiction. But it's done by the company. Yeah. But it's... Like an, o, an OVA is done by the company. It's fan service. It's fan service. Yeah. That's a better word, fan service. Anyways, so going back to what I've been doing. Um, let's see, I didn't play a lot of games other than that. I wanted to get back in Rise, but I just haven't had the time. Because I got to the end of Dead Rising 3, and it has one of those things where you have to go back and forth across the giant map. And you were having trouble with it. I was having trouble with it because um, well, I... Oh, I think I'm level, like, 38... And it's not really the issue. I have some great weapons. I just yeah. didn't have time to stop and get them and grab some great weapons or forge some great weapons. So I need a hand. So I tried to recruit Eli, but he's been busy. Um, so maybe this weekend I'll attempt it on Saturday. Um, but anyways, uh, I watched the season mid-season finale of Arrow, and it's probably one of the best things I'm, I've seen on TV in a while. Uh, do you guys mind if I spoil it? Yeah, no, go I've ahead. I've already seen it. Okay. I've, I've seen it, so go ahead. Okay, so... I'm never going to watch that show, so. Good. Okay, first off... Um... Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Look, I know, I know you and I have argued against Arrow, and I have given it its fair share <laughs> of a try. Granted, I am still a Smallville person, by yeah. all means, Sorry. but it's Smallville's a pretty so good... good. It, it is a pretty Smallville, good show. Smallville... The yeah. only downside to it, um, I thought was they did a little bit of a rush job in introducing the new Flash um, TV show. Yeah. And they had this whole thing where they had to introduce um, Barry Allen as a Flash, and they had to do a quick uh, origin story for him, which I thought was kind of still Well, what they were cool. going to do, they were going to do it to just three episodes, but then they were like, oh, what the heck? Let's make a Flash movie. 
And then like they did with Wonder Woman. Oh my goodness, we need a Wonder Woman, Batman versus Superman. Quick, let's do that before so before something better comes along. Well, they're doing a Flash TV show on the CW. Really? Yes. Crap, whatever. And they've the guy, already... the guy who plays Barry Allen does a really good job. Yeah, he's young. Um, he he's did... young, he's hip. He did Glee for a little bit. He's oh. okay. Um, oh. He was tossed into... Yeah, you don't want to watch it while he was on Glee. He'll ruin your him as Barry Allen. But he... Uh, basically, they were... Um, what was it? They warmed up the particle accelerator. Was it the... Uh, Star Labs? Yeah, Star Labs. It was... Uh, I can't remember what they call it. The Hala, Hedra, Hala. Hydrogen Collider. Yeah, Halider and Hydrogen. Hey. Um, um, Anyways, um, it was one of those, it it was was one of those Collider things. And uh, <laughs> the Hadron Collider? Thank you. I'm tired. Anyways, they <laughs> they warmed that bad boy up. Uh, something went wrong, of course. It's a comic origin. Something always goes wrong. There is an explosion. Um, you see some sort of like... Million dollar idea. Comic origin where something goes right and creates a superhero. Oh, That's man. happened too. Uh, yeah, it's Not called that Captain often. America. Um, so, anyways, it <laughs> happens. Uh, you see, sort of a explosion go out, um, and just as it hits him, like the shockwave hits where he is. He's in a building. Um, you see, he's in a lab, and chemicals are kind of spilling out. And it's, are you familiar with Barry Allen's? Okay. You know, you see the chemicals kind of spilling out, and just as that's happening, a bolt of lightning strikes him and knocks him into the chemicals. So it's a combination of the Hadron Collider and the chemicals and the lightning. So it's not just... Just lightning, lightning and yeah. chemicals. Right. So it makes a little bit more... I can't say it makes more sense, but it's still a little, it's a little cooler, I think. I enjoyed that episode. It had... Um, let's see. It had Deathstroke. Deathstroke's in town. Uh, he has basically the equivalent of a super soldier formula invented by the Japanese called Mirakuru, which means oh, miracle. Oh, yes. They got um, that off the boat. Yes. which It was on the island, mm-hmm. um, which they still haven't explained how they got off the island. Um, let's see. Uh, what's that kid's name? Um, the uh, side... Tommy, Tommy was uh, Speedy. in a flashback. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They had a... They, the episode was called Three Ghosts. Speedy... Um, well, but they don't call he, him Speedy. He, but... They they call his sister Speedy at like in like two instances. But he's wearing red. He's helping out the the arrow. He's essentially the Speedy character. But why would your sidekick? It's like and nowadays you're like I'm a sidekick. Let's pick my sidekick name. Hmm. He, Speedy. They've given him all three concepts. They've shown him the outfits for all three concepts: Arsenal, Red Arrow, and Speedy. Yep. So they don't know which one they're gonna go with yet. I'd like to see Arsenal. I like to see Arsenal because he had a gun in the show, and I'm like, I liked Arsenal in Young Justice because he had a laser arm. <laughs> yeah, he had, he That's freaking, not happening. He had a freaking laser cannon. That was um, awesome. I actually, if, he, if I if if I could say to pick one, I would like to see him do Red Arrow, because then he could be Christmas. Oh jeez. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I just it's, broke um, someone's brain. It's, anyways, it's uh, his sidekick also had some of the um, super soldier formula in him just oh, a little bit. for like a smidge? Yeah, you remember he was stabbed in the leg, was ripped out, that he was able to revive him, resuscitate him. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought they were going to give some Because that's the stuff that like... The arrow, but... Oh man, that was, that was a good episode, like the t- two episodes back where it just... It caught, basically... <laughs> he was if... like, you're alive, and she started torturing him. <laughs> So we all thought Arrow was going to get some in him, but he doesn't. He doesn't have any powers. We don't know what's going on. That's the best part. Kills you. Arrow's never supposed to have powers. He's not supposed to have powers. And you know how you were mocking him because he has, like, grease paint basically over his eyes. And yeah, well, like I, I don't like that either. I, pre- I would prefer him to have, like, a little green mask. Well, he now has a mask. Good. Good. So, I thought you watched this episode. Yeah, part of it. Oh, you weren't I paying was, attention. I was playing. I was playing. Borderlands 2. Um, anyway, so now he has a mask given to him by Barry Allen, who said, Hey, you know it'd be really great if you had a mask. And he actually invented the mask. And <laughs> it was a little, little Deus, Deus Ex Machina, more or less. But it was it was done very well. I thought it made sense in the episode, because basically Barry Allen is a genius. He's an inventor. He was hitting on Felicity, the intelligent sidekick. Um, the love interest we all want him to get with because because she's awesome. She's awesome. I like me some and uh, she's essentially and, his orb. and Laurel's a jerk. And you know what? Really, Felicity, I never would have thought about that. Felicity, 
Felicity uh, isn't annoying like Allison Mack was on Smallville. Yeah, I can agree. Nah, I could, I'll, I'll, I'll take me some Chloe any day. Sorry, yeah. Whatever. Sorry, kids. Whatever. I'll take me some Chloe any day. Chloe sucks. All right. Ouch, my soul hurts. All right, I had a crush. Up, up job, I had a crush on Allison Mack for years, and even I Chloe admit sucks. she was annoying as crap. Yeah. Not, she, not more. This girl, not, she could have been annoying. more alone than Lana. Now, come on now, seriously. Well, no, Lana. Was nobody was too. more annoying than Lana. Lane. No, she was really annoying. But, but Chloe was pretty terrible. Yeah, Clark. I'm surprised didn't just like fall on some kryptonite one day and be like, "Oh, sorry, <laughs> guys. Like, I found I'm this dead. this uh, spear-like shard of kryptonite, which I will now embed into my face." Oh, um, but she yeah, just chucked her into the sun. It was an amazing episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Easy. <laughs> From now on, when he says restart the intro, we restart the intro. Nope, nope. This is better. This is better. <laughs> restart the intro. This is how it's supposed to be. One Man. master, one apprentice. <laughs> Man. Say hello to Darth Smith. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could see that in Smallville. It would have made the show much more interesting. Where she was like, blah 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 blah. And he's like, you know what? Just grabs her by the hand and boom. I think actually, if he he's like, if he oh, this is that, Smallville. I can't fly. I can't get you. Sorry. He would have just jerked her arm off, which would also be equally as entertaining. Oh. But um, <laughs> I can just see that where she's just like yakking away, and Clark gets really annoyed. He just goes, shut up. <laughs> I would prefer, personally, it, it, it zooms into the sun. You just see that little. Pssst, it just goes. Pssst. Personally, I, I prefer this. <gasps> and she just freezes. And then he goes. Oh <laughs> Personally, or he would use his heat blast to melt her face, like like the Nazis in the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. He can't because that's not how his heat blast works. Heat, no, no, it's because it's Smallville is dumb. Or... Yeah, it is. Yeah, his heat uh, waves work because he has special feelings. <sighs> because Smallville is dumb. All right, so going back to better things. Dude, have Um, you seen the way Superman uses his laser eyes in the comic books? Have you seen the way he uses it in Man of Steel? Wow. Yeah. He's like... He just sweeps it around and stuff explodes. Yeah. I need to borrow that that Blu-ray, by the way. Yeah, you could have last week. You just forgot. I forgot about it. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah, Marquis, I got new games. Um, so. <laughs> He's like, oh my goodness! goodness it was just, I don't know. Like Everyone when I saw like, Smallville, I, I I was expecting Superman, not not teen drama Superman. No, uh, yeah, no. Um, nope. Superman yeah. Superman had to grow up at some point, man. Yeah, yeah. I so, would have done that in a very convenient flashback, as opposed to several seasons of lame. <laughs> you the mean show Lang? Was called Smallville. Lang. They should have called it. Was it was about his life in Smallville. And it was yes. on the WB. That was the big and one. And it was great, <sighs> dude. How, it was awesome show. I'm sorry, it was. No. Okay. The justice, the just episode I, I'm justice, blind. Ow, absolute pain. justice Ow. was, 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 absolute justice blew my mind. I'm that pull, was one of I'm the best pull, episodes yeah. I've seen on a TV show. Jeez, fart. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you even done. leaned over. No. Everything. No. <laughs> We're sitting there like Pat. He's in another zone today. And no, I, I didn't. Marquise is a... talking about his passion for this show, and all of a sudden, he I got one leans shot. over in the middle of. So it. I need one shot. <laughs> Yippee ki yay! So awful. God damn it. I didn't do anything. You just uh, farted. I did not. You, you <laughs> literally lifted cheek and you were like, shh. You're, you're making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> the internets will support me in that my, my butt just spread open and let loose daisies. Well, anyway, we, we got way off topic. So let's talk about the other things I cared about this week and paid attention towards, like uh, God, movies that It's burning I my eyes! <laughs> what died inside of you? It's like baby powder and hot garbage. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> so what I'm assuming is it's that the spell before, of time childhood. before Eli came here, he ate a dirty diaper. Anywho. Let's stop talking about Eli's fart cave. Um... Okay, what that were you? What a were terrible you, way of saying it. What, 
Steve. All right, so I purchased. I win. I purchased a couple things. Um, well, one of which was a surprise for someone else. Um, uh huh. I got my mama Despicable Me two and three D. That's a good move. That's awesome. That's so good. yeah, she's gonna love it. Um, and then I purchased uh, Fast <laughs> Furious uh, six, Fast Six, because it was awesome. Extended edition, right? Because it, of course, so they can get the proceeds. Yeah. To... Got got the uh, metallic uh, case. I haven't finished. It comes with a set of spinners. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, comes with a free night with uh, Michelle Rodriguez. No, I wish. Um, <laughs> Refund. Wow. Oh, oh. Hey, she is wow. sober and boring. It's only an extra five dollars so over the regular version. Dude, uh, <laughs> you got, wow, that guy's mean. What is your mean. problem today, dude? Um, anyway, so no, I love that movie. It's super fun. It's exciting. Go watch it if you haven't. I really enjoyed it. Um, what else? Uh, wrestling. I'm going to talk about wrestling a little bit because. Let's talk about wrestling, baby. Let's talk about you and me. This is pay per view coming up on the podcast Monday. is ending now. Thank you for listening. Anyways, so that's just awful. Wrestling uh, on Monday was actually terrible so until wait, the wait, end. hold on, hold on, hold on. until that's the end. Like terrible. No until way. Until the end. I'm so not, that's I'm not possible. Marquise, what happened on um, Monday? Okay. I don't know what happened on Monday. What was I the big thing? Wrestling. Do you remember? Do you remember? I, I remember what happened. Yeah. yeah. It was the Slammies. Okay? It was the Slammy Awards. Because they have the need that to feel... That kind of... Um, terrible. Terrible. I'll say terrible. The, just Slammys, the, the Slammies have been around since the, the, the late 80s, early 90s. So you can't knock the, the fact that terrible. They've been terrible for years. Terrible. Yeah, they fill. So, continue. They fill three hours with this. Yeah, your farts can't save this, Eli. So you'll just poop yourself. So, anyways, <laughs> the Slammies are basically where they they offer up these things that look like basically Oscars, where it's a dude slamming another dude, and it's really awkward. That's a little gay. A little bit. Um, just a little gay. And what's funny is CM Punk even called it out where he's like, thanks for giving him a word of uh, or one naked guy is tossing around another naked guy. I'll treasure it always <laughs> treasure or something like that. Treasure it back in my closet always. Right, exactly, because it's a terrible award. Um, but basically, the fans vote on it. They, you know, there's best match, best uh, you know wrestler of the year. Um, Who got wrestler of the year? Daniel Bryan. And guess what? He was actually the wrestler of the year. He he, he repeated. He uh, got well. They gave him a, they, basically one was his category was was beard of the year. Um, beard of the year. Yeah, and then he won fan participation of the year because the fans always chant yes, and he won superstar of the year. Now it took place uh, raw. Took place in Seattle, Washington. Okay. Um, Daniel Bryan is from Aberdeen, Washington, which is not too far from there. Um, huh. You know uh, he. Has earned his keep. Well, yeah. You know, He's he one of the more entertaining wrestlers to watch. He also is one of the best technical wrestlers in history, and he also uh, doesn't come from any sort of lineage. He just, you know, came from nothing. He's not a it. legacy, and he's he works hard. Very, very hard, and he's also short. You know, he's shorter than any of us. Mm. So cool. Um, yeah. Everyone appreciates him. You know, everyone. He's not great on the mic. He's okay, but. Here's the thing. They don't really give him any opportunities. And even when we're like, we want more. We want more. They they don't care. What I think was probably... Now, I didn't watch it. But from everything I've seen and heard, it was one of the better matches of the year. Uh, Daniel Bryan versus John Cena. Uh-huh. What was not nominated for match of the year? Daniel Bryan versus John Cena. It, it Match of the year went to John Cena and The Rock, which shouldn't have won match of the year. Match of the year should have won was won by CM Punk and The Undertaker. That was but an amazing match. That was an amazing match. Um, and they robbed The Undertaker. Better match. Um, and Any, anything with the Taker in it nowadays goes, gets up to the They're trying to get, they're trying to, they're really, they're, they're trying really hard to get Sting in time for Mania. Uh, Can you imagine? Sting, Sting, Sting. Sting, versus, Sting versus Taker. Sting versus Taker. We, I, I, you will buy a pay per view just for that match. I would. Every fanboy's dream. Yeah, it's like even I'm even even though, though they're old, they're both old enough. They can still go. Yeah, they're still Sting's healthy. Still got enough, it. They still healthy enough that they can still put on a good show, and that's probably. The, and I think they will put on a good 
effort. If anyone can end the streak, it's Sting. I think that uh, he would let him. Yeah, I think I think that's just a lot of. Respect. I think that the taker's like somebody, somebody in the somebody, streak. Please, I, I just God. Wanna, I want to go. Vince has got me plucked up to these machines. I want to go take a nap. <laughs> Vince has got me hooked up in the cryo chamber. <laughs> 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 After like every wrestle after every WrestleMania, he like goes in and pulls Master Chief and just like, psh, and, 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 and like Vince and, and, is like, we right. need someone to make some money. <laughs> it's like, psh, and the Taker comes out and he's like, I need you to start something with someone. Here's your script, and he's like, yeah, and then he just like walks and, off. And 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 now that he's got Kane, he has corporate Kane. Yeah. Yeah, have you, you haven't seen anything There's recently. There's a reason but... why I haven't seen anything recently. Because it's awful. Corporate All right. Kane. Kane. Yeah, Kane is now... Basically Kane with a, is it Kane with a business suit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he doesn't wear a mask anymore. <laughs> and he has hair. Like regular hair. Like it's blonde. Like strawberry blonde. Um, he's growing it out. He's hey, a Eli, it looks weird. Don't you remember uh, there's a reason why we voted uh, wrestling off the show? So here's the thing. Yep. <laughs> yep. The best, the, the, the best, the best part, part was, was at the end. The end. Yeah. They had the ascension ceremony. They had this like golden um, hanger, more or less, and it was made to hold both belts. This is officially a unification match. No more World Heavyweight Championship and WWE Championship. There is one guy now. All right, and the idea because it's easier to plan matches if you only have to plan one instead of two. Also, (laughs) the World Heavyweight Championship has always been. Uh, viewed as kind of like a second tier thing like it in for at first it was like oh no no it's it's the equal and sometimes it was above it a little bit but in the end no the big dog was the wwe title in the end they thought it'd be better off with just one triple h is in charge this is what we're going to do so guess what what we're going to go ahead chicken and butt yeah now we've got this thing where we get all the World Heavyweight and WWE champions that are still with the company in the ring at the same time. You got Shawn Michaels, you've got Triple H, you've Christian got... Ziggler, uh, Mark Henry, uh, Bret Hart was there, Booker T, um, Daniel Ray Mysterio, Bryan, Daniel Bryan, CM Jack Punk. Swagger, CM Punk. It's okay. That's a... Big Show. Uh, so you have all these big names there, you know, guys that have main <laughs> evented, slow. some that are still main eventing, some that aren't. You know, they talk for a while. Randy Orton comes out. John Cena comes out. Do you know what the crowd's saying the whole time? Hmm. Marquise? Daniel Bryan. The- Daniel Bryan. Uh, Daniel Bryan. Triple H is trying to do a whole, you know, a, tro- a whole big speech of how important this is. And all you hear is, in Seattle, is there, it is loud because they're, they're literally like the loudest crowd ever. And all you hear is Daniel Bryan, and they do the clap, and then and then and then Triple H tries to talk over the people, and they go louder than Triple H. They get so loud they have to stop. He has to stop talking because they're just so loud that he, he can't hear himself. Um, and then it goes on, and then and then they, they give him a big cheer, and then he does the yes chant, and and everyone does yes chant for a minute, and then. Then uh, I guess he he gives Randy Orton a chance to speak, and Randy Orton gives some boring Randy Orton. And they actually chant boring. Yeah, he's sitting there going. He just walks up the mic and goes, "Randy Orton." Pretty much. Randy Orton. It's kind of like you know in uh, in uh, Team America World Police. Yeah. Matt Damon. Pretty right. much. It's like Randy Orton. I am Randy Orton. I am Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. And then uh, John Cena comes out, and he's actually a little bit more lively. And he, he's like, John Cena! Cena, Cena, John Cena! He actually shakes Daniel Bryan's hand and acknowledges the crowd loves him. And I would... But then he kind of like puffs himself up like, you know what, I gave everyone here a chance. Randy Orton, you're a douchebag. You have behavioral problems. Do he, uh, yeah. yeah, when he called him out on behavioral problems both in and out of the ring, I was like, yo, he, that's, it was like... That was we, hardcore. That was, you know, he was, he was trying to have a pipe bomb moment. Um, but again, it, it, like it was like those pipe bombs. It blows up in your face. Again, yeah. And then uh, it was, it was, it was an all right moment. Um, and then the, he went to go shake his hand. Uh, Cena went to go shake his punk hand. And he told him, hey, "I'm going to give it my all." And after Sunday, it's only going to be one person, and one person is going to walk out the winner. And he goes to shake his hand, and they shake hands, and Triple H raises the thing, and he's he raising up, and then a fight breaks out. 
Yeah, and it goes nuts. No, you've got like everybody just brawling in the thing. You think I know you think who cares? Wow, um, it's just Master Chief riding a Tyrannosaurus. This is what happens when you have an artist with a pen and a pad of paper. Sorry, so that you've got the um, you got the guys all fighting. Who cares? I know. But then you have uh, what is it? Uh, Cena and Orton. Orton. Cena and Orton were fighting. And then all the champions broke them up. And, and former, the former, former all the former champions broke, uh, had a meet in one corner. And CM Punk had gotten in the corner and he was trying to tell Randy Orton to calm down. And Randy Orton punched CM Punk. And CM Punk Why? stood there for a minute. Like literally, really, he really? Hit, hit for reals punched him in the face? No. Yeah. I don't know. Or for fake scenes. Yeah, for no, fake, fake. Yeah, come, come, come on, come on. But, you know, CM Punk gave him that look like, you jerk. And then he punched him, and he started punching, you know, giving them the wrestling punch. And then Triple H came and threw him down, and threw CM Punk down, and then CM, and then got in Randy Orton's face. And CM Punk looked around and was like, "This guy," and then he took him through. He sit and punched uh, Triple H, and then uh, HBK then hit him with sweet chin, uh, CM Punk with sweet chin music, and Kick then right to the face. And then Daniel Bryan caught uh, HBK with the running knee, and then Randy Orton went for the. Uh, the RKO on, um, Daniel, on Bryan. Uh, Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan pushed him, and he hit Stephanie, and Stephanie went down. And everyone else cleared out the ring, save John Cena, uh, Kane, uh, Stephanie, and uh, Triple H, and, they were, and Triple H was trying to take care of and Stephanie. And of course, Randy Orton was and Randy laying Orton, there. And Randy Orton was like, oh my goodness. And Triple H got up, kicked him, pedigreed Randy Orton, and then all Randy Orton did was look up and, and like see his future. As as John Cena stands over with 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 the corporate people that he wanted to be with, and it's you know it. So Randy Orton is a man alone. It's pretty much the law of reverse momentum. Okay. Randy Orton's going to win Sunday. Law so with the laws of reverse momentum, he's going to win Sunday. We don't know how the uh, show is going to go tomorrow. Anyways, it was a decent ending to a really really crappy show. If you watch the little thing I put up, you can watch it, whatever. I liked it. So, we're going to go into movies. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, uh, well, first, easy. You got any game releases? Gaming news! Probably not. Why are we doing that instead of movies first? Well, I was asking because I'm trying to get it up. So. Oh, you're trying to figure out your movies? Yeah, it's not really I, up. I was giving you a minute. I thought maybe I thought maybe since you were in a, over there... You had, I see. You Fart brought yourself around. around. <laughs> Well, ah! Quite literally, throwing it around. The uh, the stuff that's coming up, we have the uh, the PlayStation Vita release of Bit Trip Presents Runner Two: Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Uh, that'll be happening on the seventeenth. Indoor Sports World for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, Mutant Muds Deluxe is finally making its way to PlayStation platforms. Uh, PlayStation 3 Network and PlayStation Vita. Euphoria HD is coming out for PlayStation Vita. Zen Pinball 2 comes out on PS4. Uh, the Vita version of Terraria comes out, which is pretty cool, uh, because Terraria is really good. Um, and that's... That's it. Okay. Just. So, yeah. <laughs> You're hilarious, Steven. That, um... Who doesn't like a Christmas pterodactyl? Come on. That, that's it? That's uh, that's the releases for next week. That's I, 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 mean, I can't wait. It's, it's the end of the year, dude. Okay, in the year, but nah. it's Christmas. Everyone has to have a good Christmas IP. No. No. No, no nobody has to have anything. Oh, <laughs> the, oh but the Saints Row 4 DLC There are new out. consoles out. People already have that stuff. I was yeah. like, the, the Saints save Christmas. Dude, the Saints are going to save Christmas, and it's the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. Fine, I'll go save Santa Claus. Did you see... All right, did you guys all watch that video? No. Oh, yeah. They have a... Um, what was it? A snowman? I refuse to go backwards. They have a snowman? That's not true. I have a lot of stuff i got to finish. Yeah, shut your face. You refused to play Dead Rising 3 because you wanted to play a game from over a year ago. Yeah, Continue. well, you know what? It was a, and it was a game that you'd already right bought game. the new version of, which is way better. I had to get the achievement for completing yeah, the game. shut up. So anyways... It was uh, worth 150 points. <gasps> what do you do with those points? 
Can, hmm? you, can you do anything with the no. points aside from stack them up for your EP? Actually, yeah. I The more points I have now, the higher tier of Xbox Live rewards wow. I get, which means I get a I'm in percentage of money back. I'm, I'm a legendary right now. Yeah. Hmm. I've got... Uh, I'm about to hit the next... the <coughs> what, Whatever the last tier is. Yeah. Like... It's, mythical. Or... Yeah, the, the, the mythical is at 100,000 points. You can... Uh, no, 70,000 is the highest oh, 70, one. Okay. 70, in the G, uh, GTA, in the Saints Row uh, DLC, they had a picture of a uh, snowman, and it had a t-shirt on that said, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Best Christmas movie ever. <coughs> but, anyway, so box office top 10. You yep. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Bring it along. Um, f- number one was Frozen. Of course. With $31.6 million. That was a very good movie. It, it, you know, it looks like a very good movie. I think this was a straight Disney. Was, this, was Frozen a straight Disney joint? Yeah, straight I mean, Disney. It was the same team that did it was, Tangled. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tangled was, was awesome. Pixel. And it, rec- it was a record Ralph joint. Uh, and, mm-hmm. and that was, uh, I think that's people. Chris Pratt and, uh, looking forward to and uh, second uh, Kristen record Bell Ralph. and a whole bunch of other people. Um, number two was Catching Fire with $26.1 million. That was a good movie as well. Um, I'll see that. Number three, it's Out of the Furnace. Ew. That looks good. Who is that in that? Uh, that's a Christian Bale and Casey Affleck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. And Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Yeah, yeah. Bat- I want to see that. Batman's and that was $5.2 million. Oh, He's Batman. in two movies, actually. Um, number four was Thor The Dark World. And that was $4.8 million. Which is, you know, I'm surprised that Thor's still hanging strong. It's so. a good movie. It was fun. It no. made, it's made more than the original Iron Man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Number five was Delivery Man with uh, $3.7 million. It's made me not want to go to the movies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't deliver this. Uh, well, it's, it's this almost made, the movie it, it almost made its money back. So, uh, Number number six was Homefront, yeah. which uh, is almost making its money back, too. Um, Jason, that's Statham. Jason Statham. He's a safe bet. Yeah, when you when you see Jason Statham in the cast of a movie, you go, you know, I know it's going to be a good action flick no matter what. It doesn't yeah. matter. The story's going to be garbage or... Well, he's gonna be, he's gonna be there's gonna cool be moves. explosions yeah. and there's gonna be a lot of kick in the butt and some transporting and some transporting yeah. <laughs> uh, number seven was the book thief of 2.6 million dollars I've never heard of that movie it's um uh, it's, it's about uh, the girl in the holocaust and uh, she, she's she's um, they're burning the, the, the Nazis were burning books and they're oh. stealing she's them, just before, they them before they can burn them <sighs> okay it's books it's based off an actual book um okay Number eight was the Best Man Holiday, which two point six million dollars as well. Yeah. Um, number nine was Phil- Philomena, with two point one million dollars, and rounding out the top ten was Dallas Buyers Club with one point five million dollars. Now I know this week comes out. Uh, which comes out this week? Uh, the Hobbit comes out right this week, I believe. Tomorrow. Yes, I'm excited and, for um, today. And then the uh, Wrath of Smaug. And then Desolation. The, uh, Desolation of the, the new David Russell movie comes out. Um, the what? What? David Russell, the, the guy who did the Civil Rights playbook. Oh, Amer- American uh, Hustle. American Hustle, right? American Hustle. With uh, Cheeseburger Hustle. With uh, Jennifer Lawrence and um, Cheeseburger Amy Adams. Hustle. Amy Adams and, Jen- and Christian yeah. Bale. Jeremy Renner, Christian Bale. And Jen- Jim Renner, the che- yeah. The Cheeseburger Hustle. And uh, Bradley Cooper. Yep. So It's super, a stellar cast. Super still cast. David Russell's uh, directing... <laughs> Er, a lot of early Oscar buzz, um, a lot of SAG award buzz. I think I think they picked up the most SAG award nominations. Well, you know, if you um, like uh, the Fighter, it's the same director. If you liked uh, what was it, Silver uh, Lining Playbook, Silver Lining Playbook, same director. Love that movie. He basically took those all his favorites from that cast. He he's one of those guys now. He has his people now, um, just like uh, Christopher Nolan has his people, yep. just like Joss Whedon has his people, just like his um, Weed Nights. Yep. Uh, the Apatow has his people. Yep. Um, they have their go-to people who will make their movies work, um, and because <laughs> they're great actors. Because they're great actors. Um, because they believe in the product. Do you believe in um, that? Well, Don Cheadle will be in uh, the Avengers. In War Machine will be in Avengers, guys. Really? Which is pretty cool. Which is cool. I yeah. like War Machine. Just found out that War Machine will be in the Avengers. Will it be the Iron Patriot War Machine or War Machine War Machine? I don't know. They just... Better be War Machine War Machine. I think it'd be War Machine War Machine because War Machine War Machine. They were saying that the Iron Patriot was stupid in, in Iron Man Three. I liked. The... It was supposed to be stupid though. I, I liked, thought. I like the Iron Patriot. It's it's very, very America, America. America. It was one of the most American America things I could ever remember. Oh, yeah, and Medea Christmas is coming out tomorrow, too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Uh... And uh, Saving Mr. Banks is coming out as well. Um, That's coming out in limited release, I do believe. Um, That's the uh, movie about Tom Hanks is playing Walt Disney. And I want to see that movie. I want I, I want to see that one. I actually 
do. It's it's weird. Uh, I'm not that big of a Disney file, but I can understand the urge. But uh, it's Disney. It's Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks as well. I'm not that big of a. You can at least go. You you go. Hold on, hold on. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Um, I at least know it's gonna be good. I can't remember a a movie he played in that I didn't like. Uh, Larry Crown. Larry Crown. I enjoy Larry Crown. That was boring. I enjoy Larry Crown. Your face is boring. Did you watch Larry Crown? No. I really liked uh, Who's Harry Crumb. No. Harry Crumb was a good movie. Anyway. I think the movies that he directs are boring. Um, Larry Crown is the one where he basically, he works at a uh, retail store uh, at like 50, gets fired, goes back to college, community college. Is and... that the one with Halle Berry? Or no, that's, uh... no. No, that's that dumb one um, that I saw on the uh, HBO the other night. The one you're stupid. talking about is... It's got the front of the box says him on a motorcycle with Julia Roberts on the back. It's a scooter. Oh, it's a scooter. Or it's like a Vespa kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a moped. No, no, no. It's it's, it's, it's like a yeah. It's like yeah, a Vespa. I don't want to watch the movie now. No, and, because of the Vespa. Yeah, and basically a, she goes through a divorce throughout the movie uh-huh. because her husband is a professor in college and she's also a teacher in college uh-huh. and her relationship falls apart. By the end, she is single and at that point so- decides, well, I'm single and this guy is sweet and, oh, he's gotten kind of a makeover by the end of the film and is kind of smarter and it's three months later, so sure. You know, if it was a moped on the front of the box, I might be more interested. No, it's a Vespa. Or a Segway. No, but it's... I think it's... Segways are hilarious. If you can get two people on a Segway, you're talented. She's riding uh, sideways on a uh, little scooter thing. Yeah, and and it's a... There's scooter gangs, but not really gangs. They're just, you know, hipster kids. It's It's got a... <laughs> hipster kids on scooters? It's got... yeah. <laughs> Do they crash? Guess who the leader is? Wilmer Valderrama. Wilmer Valderrama. Wilmer Valderrama. Okay. Anyway, we're we're, we're, okay. we're, we're, we're moving you, you, on. You said two things that that I don't like. You said hipsters and Wilmer Valderrama. And hipsters. Have you guys seen the Edge of Tomorrow trilogy really yet? The what? Edge of Tomorrow. With no, Tom but Cruise. I mean to. No. It's yeah, I saw that. awesome. I mean, I'm you know, uh, you know, I'm not completely sold on Tom Cruise movies anymore I because he's, he's very hit or miss now. Oblivion but, was good. Oblivion was good. Um, freaking I do believe I Edge of Tomorrow looks week. amazing. You know what um, else looks good? 47 Ronin. Dude, 47 Ronin looks amazing. 47 I was like, it's Keanu Reeves. And it, it, there's, it, it, I don't think he's going to be like, whoa. He's like super serious actor. And I was like, wow. I no, seen instead that. of whoa, he's going to be like, Nunde? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. If you get to live another day, you lie. Easy. That was because we were gonna kill you. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, Kyoto Reeves deaths. Someone asked Paul. Someone asked Paul Rudd today. Uh, he has to have like a super week, serious tone uh-huh. of voice about um the Ant Man rumors. Right. He, was like, he's like, he's, he said it was a rumor, but you know, you know how those uh those Marvel uh he says those like Marvel Iron Clad uh, no confidence. Confidentiality contracts boss. are. You can't say <laughs> Jack until like they announce it. So he, he he's definitely saying it's just a rumor, but it's like <laughs> it's a rumor. <laughs> wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, <laughs> nudge. I'm <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's, it's a rumor. By the way, they already signed him to a nine picture deal as Ant Man. So nine yeah. pictures. You, come on, you got You got. You got. You got to think future here. You got to think. Well, you can give Avengers him cameos in any movie. In any can, movie, you can That's turn true. tiny and li- you'd be like, oh, there's Ant Man in the back. Crowd. He's like, hey guys. He could show up on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for one episode and then never be seen again because that show is killing me. You know what? It's actually, the, the last episode was pretty show. good. The last, the last episode was pretty good. Um, it's building up, but it's It's, it's, it's definitely building up now, especially with the mystery of Coulson and stuff and the whole Caterpillar people. And, Wait, what? Um, Basically, watch Coulson's the first one, watch the last episode. Put them together and you get something good. Yep. Pass. No, it's you'll want to then watch the it's episode in January. <sighs> it's a good show. Oh man, I have to wait. It's uh, fun. I have to wait till January. I think it's four. By the way, the nineteenth is when the new Sherlock airs. January. December night. Oh, January nineteenth. Oh okay. yeah. So um, so uh, let's see. We we need to talk about how I'll be um, way Fox is Fox is um um continue wants to continue making. They uh, renewed the. I think they tried to renew the X Men franchise and Fantastic Four franchise for another couple of years. Uh, don't even um, talk to me about the Fantastic Four reboot. 
Yeah, mm. well, they haven't mentioned anything about that yet. It's going to be awful. I don't know if there's a director attached to that oh, still. I already know it's going mean, to be awful. I mean, the whole Age of Apocalypse thing could be good if they do it right. I just don't know if they'll be able to do it right. I am looking forward to more, you know, well, a pop- stuff. I, I they should have taken the third X-Men movie and used that to set up Apocalypse, and then this next They should have used the third X-Men movie to set to up A better Porta movie. John. Did you say Porta John? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because oh, okay. you didn't poop in it. Um, but, because uh, that movie was awful. Uh, Apocalypse is supposed to be dealing with they the first class, to set up the, the first class uh, cast. Well, that's kind of what we're. So Fassbender yeah. can steal the show again? Yeah, pretty yes. much. So like, pre- I'm Michael so, Fassbender. So, so I will pretty much, end so you. So he can pretty much do what Magneto does and pull things to him. Yep, like police barricades, but doing it in style because he's Michael Fassbender. He flips car. He like he always goes like this. I, I, like, I, 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 want, I want to see him do stuff. police cars. And then he does this. And then he does this to throw it all down. I want to see when he does stuff in X-Men 2. When he or turn, he pulls the guns pulled, out of their hands. When he pulls the metal out of the dude, and he turns him into in the iron in a thin sheet and yeah. walks across. I want to see stuff like that. Yeah, that was You cool. know what I want to see? is he Where he just sweeps his arm, and the street is cleared and shoved to one side. Like, I, 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 cool I, things I, like that. I want to see him actually like do manipulate, things, manipulate metal. metal. Um... Not just play with Wolverine and throw him whatever you are. So I want to see him like you know what actually I would love bend to the adamantium see, I would have, and like make I would him have hurt. loved to see him pull the adamantium out of Wolverine. Go through that story arc would have been sweet. Except for when he got the strange hooked claws after Apocalypse's minions tried to make him into a horseman. Don't anyway. That was awful. Primal Wolverine was bad. Well, they were trying something new. It was the '90s. Everyone was trying to reboot. And it was bad. Yeah. Rob Liefeld was drawing stuff. No. Oh, he still is. Yeah, I don't know how, how how do you how do you retract claws that are longer than your forearm and have a big hook on the end? Like for some somehow he'd like retract them all the way, and I, I don't know how it works. It's it it'd be, it was kind of like the TV show. They were malleable. Oh god! And they had barbs on them. It was so dumb. It was probably when Onslaught came out. Onslaught. Onslaught wasn't but, uh, a terrible idea. It was just not the greatest thing on earth. It wasn't well written. The ninety, no. the nineties Marvel universe wasn't the greatest thing ever. No, no. no. they're just trying really too Welcome hard. Welcome to the finale. Um, Marquis, you got anything else? Well, I don't got nothing else to save. Uh, Mick Foley wrote a WWE comic book, but interesting. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> maybe it's it, better written than the show. Make it make us an accomplished writer. So that's actually not hard because the show's terrible. Well, they're showing. Uh, it's better than TNA. Oh, gosh, that's that. that, that Has is. that ship sunk yet? No, it's it's going fast. It's, it's, it is. They're, they're trying to sell it. Um, I'd buy it for a dollar. <laughs> uh, well, actually, the lead singer is Smashing Pumpkins. I'd like buy that for a dollar. Billy Corgan might buy it. So. Really? Yeah, that's not even a make joke. it really so- somber and sad. Really, sounding? so he can be broke. He's worth a lot of money. It's Kindergartners have written, be- written better sentences than the writers of world. Yeah, all the emo kids bought that in the 90s, and now he's worth a lot of money. So. Derp. And now um, all the emo, they'd be like, Billy Corbin, he, he bought TNA? I, I, I gotta watch this. Hey, as long as Dixie Carter's not running that place. Dude, I mean. She ran that place into a ground. Yeah. Yeah, when, I agree. When she, rich people buy things, they do what they want with them. And they, she really did. Here's what happened. And, and, Same thing and, happened to WCW. And with with yeah, with Vince, that with happened. WWE, Vince, everyone knows that Vince is it. No one argues with him. He says yeah. something, it's it done. And there, and TNA is like, well, you know, go see that guy. Go see that guy. Maybe that guy's got a good idea. There's no head person to say that's it. No, we're. <sighs> but, yeah, it's so. a leadership issue. Yep. So. I think we should wrap it up. Indeed. In this finale of finales. Because, guess what, guys? Guess what? what? This is the last what? fresh This is the last and tasty actual regular podcast for the rest of this year. Dun, dun, dun! We'll, I mean, we'll have Everything some, else will be a special. We'll have some specials special up. Special cast. Special cast. Specials up. Um, and then, and I guess we'll be back in January. We'll be back in January. We'll be back Indeed. January We're going to have some uh, celebrations of content. We're going to enjoy yourself. Talk <laughs> about our favorite things, and we're going to have some best of the and year. And then we won't feel Charlie so Murphy, bad. Charlie Murphy, come on over here. Enjoy yourself. We're, we're going to remember a few of our favorite things, and then we won't feel so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that. These part. are a few no. of our favorite no. things. No. When the dog bites, no. when the bee stings. 
I'm going to go uh, go to the gas station and get some gas. Um, so yeah, guess that's we, we, you know, so, just, just you that's know, really all I got. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> Everyone's like, "All right, out of here." No, we're um, going to talk about all that great stuff. We're <laughs> actually also the other thing is we're going to do that um, this Sunday, and also Sunday we're going to watch the TLC uh, 2013 that's tables, ladders, and chairs. Yeah, turkey legs, pay per view, and chicken. Um, it'll be interesting. Sounds like a good time to me. That does sound like a good time. I'm not lying. Some turkey legs and chicken sounds. And some, uh, yeah, I want to like go a... pick some up before you come over. We can do whatever, but uh, do some we're going to open a window if Eli's going to totally let loose Totally lame again, so. cheeseburgers. We, you have a pretty decent amount of people <laughs> that supposedly come in. Really? Yeah. Well, it's about, you mean uh, your, 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 your hey, supposedly uh, decent amount of people that are coming that all of them don't show up? We turtles, have? llamas, and churros. Hey, uh, hey, how about you accept on Facebook there, buddy? I'll stay stid. So I'm including man in that loves package. him some oh Facebook events. He does love him some Facebook. He loves some Facebook pages. Thank you guys for me. <laughs> oh, hey, right, so, have so, a merry Christmas. Um, merry if you don't Christmas. celebrate Christmas, I guess have a happy holiday. But, happy holiday. What? Uh, happy have a Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Happy, uh, well, I celebrate Christmas. So happy, happy Merry Kwanzaa, Christmas. Kwanzaa, 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 Hanukkah already happened. 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 Uh, happy Kwanzaa! Christmas happy Kwanzaa, Boxing Day! Um, have, have a, a happy New Year! New Year! Listen to our stuff. Be safe! Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to us. Yeah. Subscribe, comment, like. like, please. And uh, I, I I see I saw a comment last week. Um, and uh, yes, UA Bowl is a jerk. Um, it Duh. Was, if you check it, um, but um, yeah, um, Justin left a nice comment and uh. I just want to say, hey, thanks for leaving a comment. Yeah. But comment, we will get to that stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will make somebody get to it. I'll take care of it. Send us an email at timerustbraintrust at gmail.com. If you comment, it will come. Wait, the first person what? to send us an email uh, gets a special prize. You, uh, you, heard, hey, you heard it from it's Easy. It's a reply. <laughs> you, heard, you, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from Easy. It's a special prize. I don't know what it is, but... Um, it yeah. may not be something just, you enjoy. Just stay <laughs> downwind. You'll love it. It will not have any monetary value. I promise. Pass. Might hurt. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining us. Eli. Do stuff. Play more games. Buy more comics. Check us out online. Are we out yet? <laughs> <laughs>